Yeah, the lights are big and bright, and the message is clear as we all gather to say gracias, Mickey, in what will be his final games in a Tigers uniform here at Comerica Park this week. Three Solson, he has been so good lately. Michael Garcia leads off for the Royals. And he begins this series with a base hit to left field. So immediately, a runner on first. And now Bobby Witt Jr. comes to the plate. Bobby Witt Jr. in his second year in the Major Leagues could be a 30-50 guy. 29 home runs, 48 steals. Here goes Garcia, and the pitch is down and away. So a leadoff single, and now a walk. First and second, nobody out for Salvador Perez. Double third. steal for Kansas City, the throw to third. A good one from Carson Kelly, and they get Garcia the lead runner. Carson Kelly's done a really good job since joining the Tigers. Well, you could not have placed that any better, could you? No, it was perfect. It's right-hander Zach Granke, 39-year-old from Apopka, Florida, making his 540th career start, most among active pitchers. 3-1, swing a line drive, base hit into center field. Meadows got that fastball over the middle of the plate at 88, and he did not miss. Quick check on Meadows. Just slipped under the tag. They are gonna, they're going to challenge it. Very nice. Boy, Zach, he come off of that mound like he was wanting that pickoff in the worst way. After review, the call on the field is overturned. The runner is out. Kansas City will retain their challenge. Beerling swings and misses strike three. Granke went upstairs with a 90 mile an hour fastball and Beerling swung right underneath it. It's a little comebacker toward the mound coming off the mound to field it. Olsen he throws a breaking ball in the dirt. It gets away from the first baseman and Nelson safe at first base. Wild pitch charge to Olsen so an E1. But for Prado here stay inside the ball with two strikes. Put the ball in play. Don't take it. There you go. Change up is pulled into right field. Here comes Velasquez. Here comes Carpenter's throw and Prado is safe and that's a good thing because had Torkelson tagged Prado I think that would have been before Velasquez crossed home plate. So that was a heads up reaction. That was a nice clean hit found a hole throw was way short. But look at Prado just in the nick of time he saw Torkelson pick it up and that saved him. The Royals get on the board first again. That'll bring up Miguel Cabrera. This is going to be fun to watch. Every single at bat on the homestand is going to be like this. Crowd getting to their feet of Zach Grinke's career. 20 years in the major leagues, 21 for the guy standing at home plate. The 3 2 is swinging line drive right field toward the corner on the run. Waters, he's going to reach out and make the catch. Good running catch. So Grinke wins that first battle tonight. We'll see how many battles there are, how long Grinke stays in the game, but he gets Cabrera right there. And a swing and a miss. He gets him with a slider, strikes him out. That's three for Grinke. One in each of the first three innings tonight. And a swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And Grinke has struck out four batters through three innings, and he has faced the minimum through those three frames. Miguel Cabrera leading off the Tigers' fifth. Another round of applause as he digs in for his second at bat of the night. Waters, the right fielder, comes in, calls off Massey, and makes the catch. One thing Miggy does not like hearing is when he goes back to the dugout. It's like, good job, Miggy. Like, no, I mean, no. Ooh. Another strikeout. And that is five now for Zach in back to back starts. Nice job. He's just schooling these young Tiger hitters. Really, really good to see. Now, he won't go much more than this inning here, but I hope they can hold that lead for him. Roll toward first. Prado's got it. Takes it to the back himself in time. Inning over. Zach Granke retires the Tigers in order. And with that, he qualifies for a win. And at the end of five, the Royals lead 1 0. And then as he was leaving the field, he saw his wife Emily and the three boys who were here a couple of rows behind the Royals dugout. Bobby Wood Jr. hits one to the gap. Yeah. It's going to roll to the wall. Get three. He's got to give it a shot, doesn't he? Yes, he does. On his way to third, and he's in there with triple number 10. <laughs> and we can check off one box. The ball was hit hard. It was middle. It was a middle cookie. He'd like to have hit a homer, but he'll take the 10th triple right there. Not only good for Junior, but give it a little bit more cushion for possible winning pitcher Zach Grinke. Mm -hmm. would be great. Salvi has grounded out and struck out. Tigers have the infield in with nobody out. And a swing and a shot by the diving shortstop Baez into left field for a hit. Here comes Bobby Wood Jr. to score, and the Royals lead it two to nothing. Salvi drives in his 75th run of the year. He hit that ball hard by the diving Baez, who was playing in with that runner at third. And 
More and more cushion for Granke, who's likely done after five innings. Five scoreless innings by Zach Grinke. And on comes a left-hander by the name of Anthony Veneziano to make his major league debut. Kelly draws a one-out walk in the sixth inning, just the third base runner for the Tigers. The lineup now turns over for Parker Meadows. Ground ball to second. Massey can't make the play. Everybody's safe. A routine ground ball to Mark Massey here. He tries to go a little, tries to be a little bit too quick, trying to get that ball over to Bobby Witt Jr. at shortstop. Tigers catch a break here. Two down. And now Spencer Torkelson of Veneziano is really going to have to earn it if he has a scoreless bottom of the sixth. Runners on the move. Drilled. Fair. <laughs> Kelly will score. Meadows will score. Torkelson. 90 RBIs on the year, and he ties it at two. Big knock right there for Spencer Torkelson. Gets the change up, pulls the hands inside. How about this? Pull the hands inside and just drop the head on it. Big knock here. Big knock to tie this ball game. As Taylor Clark takes over and the Tigers eighth inning in a 2-2 tie, and he's going to face Akil Badu, who will be pinch hitting for Carson Kelly. Akil Badu on the first pitch as a pinch hitter. Deep into the night and gone. Tigers have the lead. Oh, baby. Pitch hitting first, pitch swinging. Boom, shakalaka, and shake the room. And this place erupts. To say wow. he got all that is an understatement since it traveled 443 feet. But, dude, flex it. Now to Parker Meadows. Meadows puts a jolt into one. Right field and out of here. Back to back jams. And how about Parker Meadows? Say, but do whatever you can do, I can do. And he goes big fly. Back to back jacks. Jack. I absolutely love it. And that's hit well into deep right center. Isbell is there. And then he slams into the wall and down he goes that was a heck of a play but he paid the price and that's what it takes to get the first out of the bottom of the eighth inning fastball down he draws a walk crowd oh, they're gonna boo at that for sure <laughs> we, we didn't come here to see Mickey to see you walk Mickey Tyler Nevin's gonna pinch run for Miguel Cabrera listen to this here's Andy Abanez up the middle into center field Carpenter will score. Nevin to third. Ibanez adds to the Tigers lead with an RBI single here in the eighth. And here's Zach McKinstry. To left field on a line and a base hit. Short stumbled around second. Heads to third. He's there with a head first slide. McKinstry caught in a rundown. They'll tag him out. And the inning is over. McKinstry the line drive single. Adds to the lead. Royals are down to their final out. Nick Lofton at the plate. And pitch number 10 is lined to left, and it's down for a hit in front of Beerling. Lofton will get an RBI to make it 6-3. Brisky trying to get the final out. Edward Oliveras and a tough out for the Tigers this year steps to the plate. Give me that! Tigers come from behind to take the series opener. Two runs in the sixth. Four runs in the eighth, and they win it 6-3.